I'm just trying to do my best, you know, but sometimes I guess it's like the only thing that really matters is a story, entertainment. David Record, a multifaceted award-winning artist and has a plethora of works on the rise. People might not understand me, you know? Like, like my grandma, when she first saw the cover of the book, she got mad at me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's like, why would you put something out like this? It was the devil, the devil made you do it. I was like, no, it wasn't, it was me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Community ambassador, it's been written. They recognize this artist from a successful single Submit to Me, which has been playing on the radio, much music, and internationally through Channel AKA in the UK. Having completed a 32-day tour in the UK, recording an album, filming a commercial... You're a guy who has the year of the young people. And you're more powerful in a way than even the mayor can be. It's our honor to recognize you. You have tremendous talent. He has corporate partnerships on the rise. David Record is a whirlwind of tapped-in talent. His latest product endorsement deal is a release of a women's fragrance, Floral Kiss. As a brand ambassador for the company Canada Scents, David's responsibilities have increased. Confidence. A sure measure of calculated efforts over years. To build a platform with a specific mission, stand up for your truth. Standing firm in the belief that if your truth is right, it will not hurt or disenfranchise others, especially the youth. You find yourself serious about something, passionate about something, educate yourself about it, you know, pursue it. But educate yourself about it and surround yourself with like-minded people. It appears his feats continue to mount. Still, David Record's credibility is questioned by his toughest critics. So Mr. Record, you are uh, extremely passionate about what you, what you have to say. And I can see that in terms of you definitely uh, are very passionate not just about your craft, but also about giving back to the community, which I think is extremely strong and commendable. Uh, my question is, anyone might have a very positive story, but do, are, they, are they able to communicate the story into people of all different uh, backgrounds and ages? Experiences, so that's what that's unfortunately this is not what I I have received. I well, you want me to answer the question? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there we go. I'm done now. Go, go, Basically, go. Go. <laughs> what they want I want them to take away is the things that I believe are just as necessary as the subjects they are taught in school. Okay. Love for one another, kindness for one another. Those things breed a mind state. Those things project things that come back just like negativity does. It begins with the little practices that you do every day. And they might not talk like me. They definitely might not talk like you, right? <laughs> but at the same time, that's why I have the documentary, right? Because it's not just my story, but you can't forget about the story that I have to tell because you're forgetting about a whole list of them. Believing his time and results speak for themselves, the political backlash is taken personally. I guess it's like, the only thing that really matters is a story, entertainment. So I can entertain them, but I'm not gonna do it at my cost. It's gonna be at your cost. The nuances of making his message felt across the globe seems all worth it when the raw feedback from fans is a reality check on the perception of his music and lifestyle. A year before commencing this Under Moonlight tour, David embarked on his international tour to promote his hit single, Submit to Me, making his first stop in the island of Jamaica for a few shows and to meet and greet the locals. Girl, if you say I'm your only, come over here and prove how much you love me. I don't really care what they want to say about me. I just want your mind, heart, soul, and your body. Call it what you want, call me, I'm a doggy. But I lay my life on the line just to guide you. Anywhere you want me, you know you can find me. Lost in this world at times, my broken heart still haunts me. Longing for your soft talking. Deep conversation separates. Real from fake, too often I see snakes all in my garden. But flowers blossom. David Record then made his rounds to perform 32 shows across the UK. 
The adventures of making his message felt across the globe makes the ups and downs all worth it. When his performances move people to be inspired for the simple pleasure of just being at peace. It's very, very, very good. Big, 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 big yeah, check. Very, very, very good. For our yes, yes. congratulations, David. Yes, no. For David Record. Yes, we're coming from France, from Paris, and we can say that your style, your vibe, are so good. Yeah, very, very good. Good. This is my single right here. You see what I'm saying? Look how so big to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome man, fucking hey. This is yeah. good, fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I remember all the lyrics. Incredible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah man. Appreciate it. See me? I love the people. I love communicating and entertaining the people. And that gives me joy. So when I make that connection with them, I want to make it about the people. Walking through, going home, and I see my man spitting on roads, and I'm telling you, he's spitting some real shit. Sounded truthful, bro. That's why I stopped. Make sure you check that out. David Record, just stepping to destiny. I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna holler him as well. Make more unity and all that. But yeah, big up to him. When looking at all the great figures throughout history, there was always an underlying motive to their ambitious pursuits. Ask David Record why he does what he does. Is it the money, the fame, traveling the world, or maybe it's not that complex? The women, everything I do is for the women. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, baby, bitch, I wanna take you, take you, take you. Uh, make you, make you, make you mine. mine. Yeah, for a very long time. So tell me, would you mind if I took this time to drop my lines? Tell you what's on my mind, what's on my mind. Let's see around now. I pick you up in the ride, and I pick your mind for a pick up. It was like you were so charming on stage, so I was like, oh, I'm falling in love right now. Hi, I'm Nikki, and I'm from London, England, and I just want to say that I've just heard Jay Records like he is the bomb. It's amazing. These tunes are bad. I had a bad time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the man. I saw this guy in Pimlico last Friday and I really liked the stuff and he picked up some Irish bird who was blonde and really hot. David doesn't smile unless the camera's on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have a drink. How do I pause it? You need to turn this off. When all the fun stops and David has the moments to himself, it's all about his musical craft. The time he puts into creating music takes over his world, and everything in his world takes over his music. Name three words that describe your flow. Passion. Sincerity. Aggression. In the house, you know what I'm saying? With my last shot. We know everybody out here. I 
I gotta hear the music first. Cause the music's, I feel it's already telling a story in itself. You know, my lyrics, I just become the narrator of what the, the music's trying to say, you know? And it just writes itself, you see what I'm saying? And that process right there, when I'm in that state, nothing else matters, nothing. And that state, I love being in. The universal language of music has allowed David to communicate with people from all over the world. If you listen to a lot of artists, they say things like, you know, I want my music, I write music to like heal the world and my songs to make people feel a certain type of way and all that. I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? When I write my songs, I believe that my song, I shouldn't have to do that. My song should be able to do it for itself. If you're a true artist and you're creating from your heart, your music will be able to do that for itself. Hey, I'm uh, Martin Bonner. I, um, I'm the sound man for Earwicker, where David Records just uh, produced, uh, well, just played on stage for us. Um, and we didn't have any backing track, but it just made his lyrics power through more. And I thought his lyrics were really powerful. You could tell that, especially for me in the first two tracks, um, you could really tell that he wasn't just he wasn't just spitting lyrics because they weren't. He wasn't just spitting because for the sake of spitting. He was spitting because it meant something to him. You could tell that. There wasn't, they weren't just words, there was emotion behind it. To have someone come on stage and have the guts to go completely a cappella and just spit his lyrics and say what was coming out of it, like his head and his heart, um, for me that was pretty special because I've been doing this for two years now and, and no one's done that. I wasn't even facing on and yet he still managed to capture me and keep me focused that whole time and make me concentrate on what I'm saying and listen to what you're saying. And so for me that was really powerful man, I really enjoyed it. And uh, with any luck when he's back from Canada, he'll come back and do it for us again. Because uh, I've, I've definitely got to man. Look at him. You know, that's what we are trying to do, strip the truth. And that's very important that we live like that. You know, we stick it to each other like that. And my little, my friend over there, I know you feel the truth because you're here. What can I say? Bless you. Yeah, man. And that's I hear you. Bidding farewell to supporters in the UK. David Record has now set upon his new conquest, the Under Moonlight Tour, to once again touch the world with a brand new production. Yeah, man. David Record, you know. It's over here. Uh, do a little performance over here. You know I mean? We're in London, England. Done already, UK tour. Yeah, man. Big up. Everybody up. Back home. All over. Tune in to next week's episode for the highly anticipated countdown of the international release of the Under Moonlight single, plus behind-the-scenes footage of the preparation for the Under Moonlight tour. For all ticket info for the next concert near you, or to download the Under Moonlight album, go to davidrecordmusic.com.